Now this turned to be turned out to be quite a bit of functionality in main. So one thing that you might want to do is actually move this to a function. It's something we do over and over again and and it's a lot of complexity and we kind of want to organize things, right? Package things so a function just does one small thing. And and so to organize this, one way to do that would to be able to make a function here. So let's go ahead and see what that would look like. What we're going to do is we're going to make a function that re receives the data and outputs one line. So one formatted line. That's really, we want somebody's job to print the, each line out really well. And so we'll move all of that into that function. So this function is going to print something, but it's not going to return anything. So that'll be a void. And we can just call this write formatted line. Will be the name of our method. And then we can identify what is it that we're going to send it, right? So it's going to need to know about the name, string the name. And oh, we're getting red. Let's go ahead and clean that as we go. So we need to pound include the string header file. And we won't use um, using namespace standard in a header file, right? We're just go, we're going to, and that's a best practice. So we won't use use a namespace in a header file. So we'll just use string there. Notice how it cleared up. Standard string, and then we need the city, right? And then an int for the minutes. This is getting along, so I'm going to bring it down here and we need an int for the miles. Then the other thing we need is average, uh, but this is actually something we can compute. So this function to write this line, it can do that computation and write it out because that will have the minutes and the miles so we can keep that functionality here. And then the last thing that we need to be able to write it out is where do you want to write it? So we need to send it as where to write it. Now what we're using in main is an OF stream, right? Out report is an OF stream object. And we could make that this parameter of type OF stream if we wanted to. But it turns out that if we use O stream instead, then we can use C out with it too. So um, O stream is a general class and um, OF stream is a subclass of it, and C out is also of type one of the types that is a subclass of O stream. And so it will work with both with our out report and with C out. So it just makes it uh, more usable if we go with a more general parameter here. Now, for that to be known, we're going to pound include F stream, and we're going to use the STD in front of this as well, the namespace in front of that. And we can give it whatever name we want. So I'm going to just call it out. Now there's one more detail. Whenever you use, pass an O stream, you want to pass it by reference. So what happens is if we write to this, if we write to this stream, we're actually changing that object, right? One of the things it keeps track of is where it is in the file, that where that file pointer is. And so if we write to it, that file paint pointer will change. And that, and that change needs to be reflected when you get back to main. That is going to be really important. And even if you're using C out, those details that things have moved need to be reflected back in main. So be sure and pass it by reference. Okay, and that's all we need. And then let's go ahead and take this to output.cpp. We're going to still need those header files. And now I'll move to using, using namespace standard. And we'll change this into the function um, implementation. Okay, so now we're going to want to take this functionality from main. Now the we can send the functionality the header to it. It could accept the name and the town. We could send it those strings, but minutes is an int, and miles is an int. And so we couldn't send it those strings to write that line. So we're going to do this header. We'll have to keep this in main. It's something we do one time. So we'll write that, keep that in main. But let's go ahead and take all of this functionality. Now I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to leave it there so we can come back to it. 
and see what, how we, it will change. And notice when I put all this functionality, I'm going to get lots of red. And that's because I'm using names that I used in main. And so let's work through these one at a time and make sure we're using the names that we have in the function. So here for our output stream, we're not going to use the one we know may. We're going to use our parameter value. So we're going to be using out here and that cleans that up. Set precision. The reason we don't have that is because we need that to pound include IOMANIP because IOMANIP is the one that knows about set precision. And now we're not going to use a for loop because we're not going to do this over and over again. We're going to simply write one formatted line and that's going to be our whole job for this function is write one line. So we can get rid of that for which includes did I maybe, yeah, which includes that um, curly brace, that closing curly brace. Uh, next, we're going to be able computing float. Looks like we can indent all of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use shift tab to indent that or outdent it. I guess we were in too far. And now we want to use for minutes, we're going to use our parameter variable. For miles, we're going to use our parameter miles and do that computation. For towns, we're going to use our parameter city. And here we'll use the parameter city. Here we'll use the parameter city. And now when we go down here, what are we going to use? We're going to use our out, which is our parameter O stream. And look, now this is short enough. We can put this all on one line. And here we're going to use the parameter name. And here we're going to use the parameter minutes. And here we'll use the parameter miles. Okay, so now we cleaned up all of that. And now we have the functionality to write one single line. And where are we going to write it? Whichever um, stream they send us is where we'll write that.